working on getting it lined up for the wheel chocks. You'd rather lay on that hunk of metal? First issue we came across here. Hey, how did that feel, Phil? I gotta run and get some preparation, ain't <laughs> All right, change of plans. Uh, keep coming straight. So here's a look at kind of what they're supposed to be shaped like. You can see that clearly. What happened is without them front bolts in, they actually bent the rear ones, so. We're Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do an install on these. Uh, I chose the Rhino USA wheel chocks, tie downs. And if you're interested in these, you might want to watch this video first. Uh, we like to keep it real here. So we're going to go through the install and see how it worked out. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts afterwards on if, if they're all what they're advertised to be or not. So let's get into it. All right, so uh, we're working on getting it lined up for the wheel chalks. No idea. The thing to do would be to put them in square. Yeah. Yep. Based on the relative. How come you're not laying in the chair? You'd rather lay on that hunk of metal? It's cold on that metal too. Come on, buddy, get with it. I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna do the inside since that's been the problematic one. All right. Oops, hang on. A little more. A little more. A little more. Good. Uh, we need a little more yet. Uh, let's do the outside one. Okay. I don't want to get them too. Get them off us. You ready? Yep. A little more. A little more. All right, that one's good. The inside needs a little bit yet. That one we're gonna need a hammer, I can tell you already. Is it always the inside one? Okay, so the first issue we came across here was the bolts that they sent are only an inch and a half long. And you're supposed to use a flat washer on one side as well. And also notice the diameter. They're pretty darn wimpy. I mean, these are UTV tie downs. So we started using these screws, and as you can see, we just we could barely even get them threaded without any washers. They make them small enough for us old guys. Oh, yep. All right, that started too. And if you're questioning why we have them upside down, it's because the screws were just too short. We couldn't get them threaded the, the correct way they're supposed to be. So we're going to change the plan here shortly, but this is a standard trailer. I mean, it's got, you know, inch and a half treated wood decking, and they only sent, you know, inch and a half bolts assuming that they are making these for uh, like five ace board you know decking board trailers but most trailers I think use uh, you know one or two by eights you know similar to this or two by sixes so we're gonna have to change this but we struggled for a while until we finally gave up and came up with a whole new plan all right we had to go into town for bolts and lunch hundred and twenty two dollars to fill up his truck yep Hey, how did that feel, Phil? I gotta go. I gotta run and get some preparation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, change of plans. Uh, we're upgrading the bolts. Note to uh, Rhino: the bolts are too short for one, and for two, they are a little wimpy. This is the upgraded ones, two inch. All right, we're putting the upgraded nuts and bolts in, lock washers and flat washers. Definitely. 
definitely will be much stronger this way. All right, so the buggy was a little canted. So what we're gonna do is uh, basically square it all up. That one's correct on that tire. So we're just gonna match it up on this side with measurements. And then we gotta slide this back end over to get it to fit right for the back too. But we're putting larger bolts in now and nuts and lock washers. So it's gonna be probably twice as strong as what it was from the factory. All right, Riddick finally figure out the chair is much softer. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a good pup. Good puppy. Keep coming straight. A little more yet. I'm over on this side. Yeah, we got a little bit of. I guess we got a little bit of play in there, but that ain't gonna hurt nothing. How are you gonna do it when you're by yourself? All right, we got the fronts done. <clears throat> got that in place. Now we gotta scooch the back over one direction or the other to get it fully square. Halfway done. Consummate professional right there. So this is how they work in case you haven't used them or seen them before. Once you get uh, your base is mounted, there's a little trick lever right here that kind of lets you get this end in and locks it into place. And it's basically just a ratchet strap all the way around the tire. Uh, but the benefit of this is that you're not pulling on your suspension anymore. So you're still secure to the trailer, but now your buggy can, can use its suspension and you ain't always constantly reefing down on that suspension. So when are you starting on the front? Yeah, I'm going with the longest reach right now. Okay, so we've identified one issue so far. There's a couple more we're gonna come across. So you can't get all the bolts down while your tire is there because there, obviously there's not enough room. You can really only get the, uh, the side with four bolts. You can get kind of the farthest ones away. So we, we backed it up and we finished the bolts on the front. Then it came to the back. We got everything leveled out and that, and we could only get, again, two of the six bolts in. So that we went to back it up over one of these chalks with only the two bolts in and you'll see kind of what happened next. All right, we got the rear ones tacked down with two bolts in the back, two in the front. Obviously you can't get at them with an impact wrench, you know, when it's still on. So we're, we're on the downhill now. It's gonna happen real quick here. Look at Philly. We're gonna fabricate that. It's, it's too hard to get in and out with these rails, but we're gonna bust out a cutter here very soon. Hang on once, hang on. more right there all right we'll do that tackle that can't believe it all right so a quick note what happened is without them front bolts in they're a little bit too thin and it actually bent it actually bent the rear ones so we're gonna tack them down which is in both of our opinions we're not overly impressed right now with this uh, setup I moved it a quarter bent quarter inch. Bent to the quarter inch. And that was only one rollover. Alright, do over. Now we're going to back it off. We had to 
pin these two insides down because it, it did bend the two rear ones. Um, the front ones we did, it didn't bend them, um, but we're figuring it, obviously it's a lot heavier in the back with the engine and trans right back here. Let's try this again, do over. Alright, so here's a look at kind of what they're supposed to be shaped like. Alright, and you take a look at this one. You can see that clearly uh, probably a quarter inch is missing on this one particular cut here. So, just not really sure about quality control. Just food for thought. Overall, I'm glad this is done. Like I said, I don't know that I really can give high marks for the Rhino USA one. Uh, we ended up using much bigger bolts than bolts that they sent us were really wimpy and they were too short. I mean, the average deck board is an inch and a half or an inch and three quarters. Um, and they weren't even long enough for just your average trailer. So, I mean, they're in now. I'm gonna continue to use them. In hindsight, I may have got a different brand though.